Liam, you became our final of eight representatives at this year's Next Gen Tournament. First of all, what does this achievement represent to you and your team? It means a lot. I've, I've worked uh, this past month and a half to, uh, for the qualifying event and to try to get the wild card. So now that I'm here, I'm really excited and uh, just can't wait to go on court. You are, of course, representing Italy, but you've had quite an interesting background. Just tell us a bit about your sort of upbringing and background and where you developed your tennis. So I was born in Rome. Uh, moved to the U.S. when I was six years old and uh, started playing in San Diego, California. That's where I grew up playing uh, against Taylor and Francis. And uh, yeah, I feel I was uh, I came up in America, but I do feel Italian deep down. So this must be a really proud moment for you and of course your family as well to be playing here in Milan this week. Yeah, it's it's huge for me. Uh, I'm sure my family is very happy about this, but uh, I'm very happy as well. It took us through that the end of that qualifying phase here in Milan. It looked like quite an intense finish. I mean, and could that sort of help you because the, you got the sort of winning momentum, let's say? Yeah, it was a uh, it was a very intense finish. I knew I was so close, and I just needed to get that one match point. And uh, but uh, the the emotions were were really were really good, and uh, I just I just enjoyed being out there and uh, being able to fight for this opportunity. Um, tell us about a bit about your opponents and what we can expect from the week ahead then. How well do you sort of know them? Have you played any of them before in the tour in the junior circuit? I've played many of them before in the juniors in the ITF circuit. Um, they're all unbelievable players and uh, I'm lucky to have the chance to uh, compete against them and see how my game matches up against them. And what about the format? Of course, we have lots of different innovations and rule changes that keep things a bit interesting. What, what do you feel about that side of things? And what if any of these rules and innovations do you think could be transferred to the main tour one day? I love the rules. I love all the rules. Um, the sets to four are, are really cool because they they really make they really bring you directly into crunch time, and uh, that's that's a very good rule. Um, the no let makes it exciting and just uh, just different. Uh, makes everything quicker and uh, and uh, the coaching with the with the speaker is uh, is cool as well. So I'm uh, I'm really excited to get to try them. Yeah, tell us a bit about that, that coaching side of things and a bit about your own coaching team around you and, and when could that, that sort of tool be useful during a match to sort of help you through some sticky situations? Yeah, so I'm here with my father, so I will be talking to my father on court. Um, if I'm in trouble, I will put the headphones on and just kind of get his opinion, uh, an out view from the match, um, so can get some good information. So finally then, what, what do you hope to sort of achieve from this week ahead? Is it just purely about the experience and, or is it also to sort of to show the world what you can do on, on the sort of biggest stage? For me, it's to show the world what I can do. I'm here to compete as hard as I can. Um, obviously, I got the wild card spot here um, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just happy to go out there and do my best.